Hi, everybody. Warwick Mary, CSP, your national president. I wanted to spend a couple of minutes to introduce you to the president for 2018. That's right. It is the ever lovely Taryn Dean. Hello, Taryn. Well, hello, Mr. Warwick Mary, and aren't you doing a fabulous job as our national president? I do what I can. It's my team that support me. Hey, um, now, Taryn, many people will have known that you were the Queensland president for last year uh, for the chapter. Mm -hmm. There will be some who might know of you, but actually don't know what is it that you talk about. So I want to find out a little bit about you. This is a little mini profile of Taryn, the speaker. So what's your I subject think. of expertise? Well, I love to equip leaders. So through our leadership development company called Corporate Cinderella, I actually speak on helping leaders lead. And I do that through seven signature elements. Having been a national executive before, I know that the challenges that senior leaders are under as they face rapid change and the desire to maintain human connection in an ever-increasing technological world. So I'm often called upon to come in and speak on change, workforce capability and communication all under that overarching banner of leadership. So it's a very cool subject area. I love it. <laughs> and then I know, and I just wanted to share with people, you've also worked on other boards before as well as the PSA board, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So um, I have a maybe about a 16 year history in working in the not-for-profit sector where um, people rally around a cause very um, passionately, but we must always as directors uh, maintain compliance with our ASIC um, governance obligations. So the privilege I've had has included working on the board for Hope Foundation, which has been a Brisbane based uh, company with a national reach. And that's been designed to assist uh, women uh, achieve liber liberty from various addictions. And uh, I served with them for a number of years. And I've maintained my directorship with another not-for-profit organisation called New Life Care Limited, which operates here in South East Queensland. I've been involved with them for, uh, as a director for close to five years. And prior to that, on a management committee with them, just volunteering. So there are a couple of the, the areas that I'm really passionate about. How do we um, extend our hand and do good or serve a membership or serve stakeholders, but at the same time, ensure we're delivering uh, a quality uh, governance structure that serves the people and meets its obligations. Fantastic. So the leadership of PSA coming into next year is in very, very good hands. Speaking of leadership of next year, we've just finally at a board level um, uh, finalised who the chapter presidents are going to be. So they're going to be your presidents. You will be the leader. So who are the chapter presidents for 2018? Oh, look, I am so excited to announce this because having been in PSA since 2009, I've watched some of these leaders just grow their businesses from strength to strength. And on top of that, they're just amazing people. So over in the West, Todd Hutchinson is known as the current WA chapter president. He came on board mid-year 2017, and he'll be carrying on through 2018 until the, likely until the following 2019 convention. Come south, uh, central south to South Australia, and there we have Liana Taylor taking over. She's looking after the region there, and we're really grateful to her stepping into those shoes and uh, raising a standard of leadership in South Australia with a great foundation from what's been laid there. Coming across to, let's see, Victoria and Tasmania, we have Helen Mitis. Helen Mitis is going to be stepping in and carrying the torch for all of you in that part of the world, and we're honoured to have her on board. Come north to ACT and New South Wales, and the lovely Neryl East, extremely capable, uh, CSP doing great work and is going to be taking over from the current chapter presidents there. And up to my part of the world, Northern Territory, Queensland, Julie Cross CSP is going to be carrying the torch for us. So we have a really strong, capable team, five leaders, and they're going to be doing some great work. So the country's in a fantastic position to consolidate the changes through our 
uh, membership changes and coming through to bring that to pass in December 2018. So I'm really excited and honoured to be working with them and also the board moving into the national president role after convention in March 2018. So it's pretty cool. And I have to say that Todd, uh, Todd has had a lot of uh, uh, governance experience. He's also a CSP. Yeah. And, and to date, he's also added a great deal of value to the board. Um, just and, and as have other presidents and past presidents, just by mm. asking us some questions, sometimes challenging questions, but it's been great because it keeps us on our toes. And I, and I think that's one of the reasons I know that I wanted you on our board uh, is that your level of governance and the processes have really helped us try and be a more professional organization in the way that we manage the board and our processes going forward. Yeah, look, thanks, Warwick. I, I really firmly believe in the power of succession planning and also acknowledging that systems are designed to um, create almost, you know, if I use a Gold Coast analogy, they're designed to give us the safe swimming area. And if we have flags up, there are our policies, our procedures and our guidelines so that all our members know the steps that we need to take in order to uh, grow the organisation, consolidate the current changes to membership and attract, engage and chant, even as Guy Kawasaki would say, our current membership and be really appealing to the broader sector. So I'm really thrilled and honoured to be invited to be a part of that, particularly as we move from a four-tier membership to a two-tiered membership, that professional member status or member now and CSP. So you're getting the top two professional levels. And certainly in my business, I have a business strategy that combines keynote conference speaking, MC work, uh, change consulting, in-house training and development, and executive coaching that offers uh, group coaching presentations inside organisations. So for me, it's, um, you know, it's a huge privilege. I'm excited about pursuing CSP. Um, as I know, many of our um, aspiring CSPs are just navigating that real issue of converting a sale within seven days following presentation. I do a lot of work with government and other organisations. And for me, that's a longer tail engagement or consultation process. So I'm on the hunt for CSP. I was um, the very first CSP I met was Catherine Palin Brinkworth over a networking breakfast. And I went, that's what I want. And I've been surrounded by some really good people since then. And a standout, um, as they all are. But I remember a conversation um, that I had with Brad Tanini after perhaps it was the 2010 convention on the Gold Coast at the Marriott Hotel. He'd just done an AGM. Uh, I watched him field some robust questions from the floor and it was his last board meeting. He stepped down and I made a point of sending him a card in the mail and just thanking him for his service because I know what it costs. To, to be in senior leadership and to volunteer in key roles. And I was very impressed when that CSP picked up the phone and called me and said, hey, thank you. It's a, even though it's a cost, it's a great privilege to serve. And I knew that one day I wanted to serve in this capacity. And so while I pursue CSP, I'm very confident in the business models. I'm confident in the um, community we have with uh, professional members, members and CSPs and doing all of us coming together in unity to help everyone else who's meant to be here, who's meant to be flourishing in their business to achieve that. So I look forward to continuing to work with the board and serving under you in your brilliant national president role. Um, couldn't ask for a better mentor in this capacity. So thank you. Thank you for what you do, Warwick. Uh, pleasure. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I, I, look, I really think that um, PSA, we, we did have a few issues a couple of years ago. We've really turned a few of them around. And I think we're, we're moving from strength to strength. We still have our issues that we're facing them, but we have a strong foundation for it. Uh, and shortly, there'll be, we'll be looking at um, adding more directors onto the board as we need new directors going into the new uh, convention year, I suppose it's called, where we go from convention right. to convention. Um, so, you know, you'll be hearing some requests come out uh, regarding that shortly. So all, all in all, I'm excited about the rest of this year and then also 2018. So, uh, and I think with yourself and the we've, we've got coming on board, it's, it's very exciting. Our current chapter leaders have done a sensational mm -hmm. job. Uh, and in, there's been a real cultural shift, I think, 
getting people to events seems to be harder and harder and they've done a great job putting on some awesome events and some uh, some some free thinking events like pop up little events I, I know Simone did a great one in Queensland in an art yeah. gallery it went well Todd had a great one and they went to an AV uh, AV retailer and, and had some really great questions for hands on so I love the way that our chapter leadership team are finding out what our members need and trying to provide it so it is really very very good Taryn if people want to get in touch with you and find out some of your plans for next year or to volunteer to help or what's the best way that people can get in touch with you I I would love to honor people's time and as we know as speakers we're sometimes traveling so if I can just do a a blatant uh, shout out to you and say jump on my website and click on the meet me button so that way you can book in a time that's really perfect for both of us um, there's a 15 minute time slot that I allocate for touching base calls if there's something longer that you need shoot me an email ceo at tarandine.com or visit the website tarandine.com and on the home screen book straight in for a session that suits you and uh, it's complimentary I want to hear from you and also just cheer you on as you pursue your speaking endeavors so uh, again big shout out to you Warwick thank you Taryn thank you for your time thank you to, to the members watching this getting to know our new leadership for next year we know it doesn't kick in until March but we just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up and also announce who our new chapter uh, chapter presidents were so uh, thanks everyone for watching this I look forward to seeing you on the stage somewhere thanks Taryn <laughs>